Hi, uh, welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Aman, and today we will be I'll be presenting on how to upgrade ActiveOS integrated with MDM and deployed on JBoss. So, agenda for today's video will be introduction, prerequisites for the upgrade process, configurations, live demo, and summary of the overall video. Introduction. Informatica BPM, also known as ActiveOS, embedded with MDM drives all the stewardship in interactions of MDM. You can have out of the box predefined workflow for single step review and approval, match and merge review, unmerge review, etc. From the 971 version, Informatica is providing options of using ActiveOS as workflow adapter as it has lots of functionality for task management purposes. Prerequisites. So when you are planning on upgrade of ActiveOS, please refer to, uh, refer to product availability matrix, also known as PAM for MDM and make sure you upgrade into a version that is recommended for use with specific MDM version. As for the demonstration purpose, we will be upgrading ActiveOS 9.2.4.3 to ActiveOS 9.2.4.4 as this is recommended ActiveOS version for MDM 10.2 hotfix 2. configurations so there are a few things that needed to be taken care of first uh, while installing ActiveOS there are three specific jar files that we need to move from the older existing ActiveOS to the new installation folder of ActiveOS input jar input files uh, which is input dot properties needs to be reviewed and updated as it holds the connections and uh, integration with MDM the older deployments of ActiveOS needs to be removed manually and AE engine config.xml which is important for identity service in ActiveOS needs to be updated before upgrading ActiveOS. Uh, after the completion of upgrade, if the manual deployment of uh, if the deployments of ER files uh, is not done automatically, you may need to deploy it manually. So let's proceed on the demonstration. So this is my uh, remote desktop where I have ActiveOS installed with uh, MDM. So this is ActiveOS 9.2.4.3 and you can see there are two ER files that's already been deployed and my JBoss is still up and running. So let's first shut down the JBoss server. So uh, we have killed the JBoss now. Now let's remove the uh, old deployments of ActiveOS. So there are two ActiveOS deployments. So let's just remove this and let's move to the ActiveOS directory. So this is the old ActiveOS directory. just uh, rename it to ActiveOS 9.2.4.4.3 okay. now we will run the new ActiveOS so the ActiveOS setup wizard uh, I'll be selecting JBoss. You can select uh, for the appropriate application server that you're using. So, and the destination drive where you want to install. Pasting all the new ActiveOS 9.2.4.4 uh, files in the directory, and so it will take some time. Okay, so it's done now. Uh, let's go and check. So this is the new installation. So we need uh, three ER files that we discussed in the configuration. So that will be present in uh, 
Resolution, Siberian API, and Siberian COM. So let's copy this. Then paste it in the same location. Yeah. Now uh, we will also be needing input dot properties file from the older. Uh, directory so it should be in server enterprise jboss config install dot properties file so let me copy this whole thing and let me check if it is correct here yeah. so we are going to use this in the same location as per the new directory so we will paste it here and just cross check a uh, few things uh, like the jdbc driver it's intact the jndi name is correct and the installation of MDM directory and uh, this is the new activos directory I think uh, this part is not there server and remove it MDM activos let me just cross check it so in MDM activos server enterprise in MDM activos server enterprise yeah. and rest all things they look good so we will save it So need to uh, check the a engine config dot xml so we can find it in avg boss active bpl this is this is the one that needs to be updated let me search for identity service manager yeah, so the whole tag needs to be updated so this is the tag so let's just quickly check so this is the thing it has to be updated with I will copy this and we will update it here So this is the end of identity service manager. Paste it and we'll save it. Now let's run the config deploy. So the config deploy will be present in JBoss config bin folder. Server and Activos Central database. It's Oracle. And click on Next. And it will automatically deploy the ERs. Make sure that the directory of uh, JBoss server is correct, or uh, whichever application server you are using. And click on Install. So right now it's building the package and once it's built it will start deploying it. So it's built successfully. Now close it and let's check the deployments. Okay, uh, as you can 
can see uh, it's deployed so moving on to summary so before upgrading activos version always refer to pam if the new version of activos is recommended take care of the configuration file in xml before starting the upgrade uh, in case it's a unix unix machine make sure that you have all the needed permissions for the user for successful deployments so summarizing in four steps remove the older deployments rename the directory and run the uh, installation move all the needed jars in new directory and update the properties file and config files and manually uh, deploy the ER if it is not being deployed uh, we would love to hear from you uh, you can tweet us on info support and you can also mail us on uh, support videos at the rate informatica.com so that's all thank you